times, perhaps more than ever, we need to find ways of counteracting fear-driven and anger-driven and disappointment-driven and other negative emotions-driven feelings of ours in the current global climate because if we manifest them in strong ways, first of all, these feelings hurt us. And secondly, they are not going to produce change. Whereas when we can get into the luminous side of things, when we get into our creativity, when we get into our own power by ignoring the triggers and not supporting them, for example, if you were one of those who did not believe in the current uh, situation evolving globally and what we're told, you may like not to go anymore to supermarkets or maybe no more buying fertilizers from certain companies or maybe not support uh, certain practices in uh, digital and AI technologies. Uh, and on the other hand, if you support them and uh, you find peace and uh, quiet uh, through uh, nature and music and uh, perhaps sports, uh, yoga, meditation and uh, good nutrition, um, it doesn't really matter whatever your opinion about anything going on and the opinions are many and thus it's very confusing for everyone uh, these days uh, the important part of it all is to be true to yourself and to remind yourself that basically the feeling of serenity the feeling of fulfillment the feeling of peace within is there at the moment we follow our inner light because we are talking about energy and light especially white light is the purest energy that we can associate with in our dimension presently on earth and it contains all the spectrums of the rainbow colors as the majority of us know so, in Interconnections by MC, that stands for Mindful Consciousness, the reminder is to be aware that we have so much power within us to return to a state of well-being and satisfaction that can override and overcome all the information, all the situations coming our way. After all, everything is forever transforming. Nothing is static, including objects made of steel. When you get big storms like we're experiencing in so many parts of the world, we see what happens. So it's best to enjoy what can be enjoyed and to stay away from what tempers with that. If, like many of us, you too like knowledge, of course, uh, once that research might get a bit too deep and too painful to look at or listen to, that's the time to trigger on your creativity, colors, and forms. Hopefully, in a nutshell, and to conclude, what you will see and what you will experience on most of these uh, visual presentations that include art that is uh, very original, forever transforming, and photographs with videos of um, places in various parts of our beautiful planet, uh, you will uh, be recharged with a reminder that many people are putting their fantastic creative work 
and findings and suggestions online for free for everyone else to enjoy and this is just um, maybe one of the many and a starting point that does bring to mind the fact that we can all be creative if not in artistic pursuits perhaps in our way of communicating with others perhaps in uh, our cooking or uh, construction work or whatever all the best namaste